Hello, my name is Dr. David Highmarsh from GP Templates. In these series of videos, we're going to look at Word templates, okay? And in this first video, we're going to look at the creation of Word templates and how they can be used to auto populate uh, patient details and some of our practice details so it speeds things up when we want to refer patients onwards. So let's jump into System 1 and find out. Okay, so on System 1, the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves onto the Word template. Um, before we jump further, it's probably worthwhile actually getting the Word document that you want to have as the auto-populated one. So for this one, we're going to go onto the Notifiable Diseases form. So we're going to go, you can either Google or just find it yourself, the .gov UK Notifiable Diseases form for registered medical practitioners. And you'll see it's got a PDF version and a Word version. And we've already saved our registered uh, one here and we've got that word document good to go so going to go on to setup data uh, referrals and letters new word letter template and then new template import an existing word document and hit ok now it will take us to where just onto one of my documents is first and I've got it here all good to go so we hit select now this bit here we can put a description if if we want to um, more importantly, I'm going to just move the category into Highmarsh Templates and put it as a subcategory as Notifiable Diseases. And again, you can just put your icons on and we're going to save it, what the letter type is, to Referrals. In. We'll see if there's a generic referrals in our long, 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 long list. Probably not. Referral. Excellent. Good. So we've got that there. Good to go. And let's put a little white glove. See if we can find it. Ah, oh, there we go. Excellent. Hit OK. So we're going to load our Word document here. And so basically you think, oh, it's just Word. And you're right, but you see here it's got System 1 Mail Merge. Fantastic tool. Whoever created that, hats off to you. So you can see here we've got our form. Now, starting with us, registered medical practitioner. Now, what you've noticed up here, ignore these, but actually start take notice of these. And you've got things like patient demographics, patient care, and you just think, hang on a second, these are all the stuff that we want to put in. Medication, vaccinations, sender and recipients, and miscellaneous details. So let's start with the top. So we've got us, basically. So I want to put in name, miscellaneous details, let's put your name, and it pulls up this box with output. So it's title, first name, surname, and we can ignore the rest of those. And I was like, thank you very much. And we hit OK your name, address, now we're just going to put uh, just your practice, postcode, whatever, fill it in, fab, and then date of notification, obviously we want that altering because it's going to be different, and just put today's date. Now let's see here, pulls up, but ignore that bit for the time being, just look at this sample output, and you see here we've got 7th of December, 2017 as an example, Ooh, looks good so far, but it's got the time on there as well. So let's go back up to here, we've got time, don't include. And depending on what you want, you can uh, alter it, so you can have the full month, short month, or just numeric month, depending on your personal preference. I like that setup because it makes me happy, and hit OK from that point of view. Notifiable disease, for the time being, I'm just gonna leave this blank because actually, you know, at the time you'll probably want to just type in your own okay and likewise with the date of onset of symptoms and all of these other bits index case now this is where we're going to use our patient uh, identifiable details so we've got first name and surname so let's go on to here patient name and we come up with this box again let's go to output we know that we want their first name only so we deselect surname and just keep it title and first name and hit okay surname Likewise again, sorry, wrong one, getting a bit click happy. Patient name, output, surname only, hit OK. Gender, let's go down, and it's there on our list. Full description, or we can just do M or F, hit OK. Date of birth, chuck that in there, ethnicity as well. And you can start to see that actually, we're almost there. With the home address, um, 
again likewise because we've got three lines to fill this over so we're going to use the same patient address but utilize these so we're going to deselect and just have the top two okay so we're going to we've deselected that and just put in the top two and the next bit we're just going to put in we've done the top two already and just keep those three and not have that and lastly we just put in the postcode so deselect all of those and leave the postcode ticked happy days okay we'll leave all that um, for when you actually see them contact number again we've got patient contact details and it gives us either the preferred but I'm going to chuck in them all of them there as well okay so hit okay and it's got it all of there once you're done hit save and that's you done. That is a very, very basic introduction to the Word template uh, System 1 Mail Merge. Um, and what we're going to, I'm going to show you now is it in action. So I'm not going to save this because I've already got one already pre-done. Okay, so, but for you, hit make sure you hit save. Yes, I am going to discard this template. So let's find Tommy Test. Poor Tommy Test. So we're going to go into our notifiable disease forms, okay? And we've got all the ones that we want to notify people about. And notifiable disease letter will flick up with this box. So this organisation to a textual recipient. So we're going to be uh, authority. Okay. Notifiable disease referral. We're going to hit right now. And it's going to load up Word. And it pulls up my name, practice address, okay, and everything from that point of view. That all we've got left to do is to fill in the notifiable disease itself and the date, and also anything as well with regards to that, with regards to their current residence. And yes, we just, you know, I might go back in and tinker about just to try and reduce a bit of space from that point of view. And you can see that I haven't quite done it right on this actual one. And actually that's part of the coding for the actual test patient itself okay but you can easily see from this that actually we with 15 20 minutes effort you can save yourself and your practice a heap of time throughout the day so i hope that's been useful i've utilized these skills that we've gained in this video to do all of our mental health referrals um, so we have improving access to psychological therapy so it also populates that Likewise, with our child and adult mental health services, they all want Word documents of our referrals. So, right, let's start to streamline things. Instead of me typing out everything from scratch, let's get System 1 to do the work for us. Wonderful. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to like and share it about. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more updated content. Um, and don't forget to check out my uh, GP Templates uh, Facebook shop which I'll give a link to below and also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and uh, I'll be uploading regular content and give you ideas when the next videos are coming along. If you've got any questions please feel free to email me admin at gptemplates.co.uk and as always I hope you had happy holidays and happy template building. Thank you.